On a crisp summer's morning, the beauty of Antarctica, the white continent, is on show for all to see. The pure white snow which tops the jagged rocks of the continent's harsh exterior adds a layer of calm and comfort. While the magical shapes and colors of the myriad icebergs and ice flows complete a sense of tranquility. Sparkling waters dance under an azure blue sky and the region is alive and welcoming. This is Antarctica as it should be. This is Antarctica as it is now, but it may not be the Antarctica we will all share tomorrow. One of the things that strikes me is that the change. Over a 25 year period, seeing changes in weather, changes in ice that you never think you're gonna see in your own lifetime. In just the, the 12, 14 years that I've been coming here, we've seen areas that used to be peninsulas or we thought were peninsulas become islands. You know, glaciers retreating at an incredible rate, you know, for, for such a short period of time. The outside world is, has intruded in a way that we never expected possible. Temperatures have increased uh, since 1950, uh, 11 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. That's the largest temperature increase recorded in the, in the record anywhere on Earth. So this really is the front line of large temperature changes. Uh, but what Antarctica has told me is that these changes are very real and they are happening and we need to act now. In our unnatural world, there are few places set aside to remain, well, natural. There are not many destinations without people, or that are located far from busy cities and noisy highways. For such a large planet, we have surprisingly tamed most of our wild spaces. And today, most international travel comes and goes from conveniently located hubs. But there is still Antarctica. It is remote, inconvenient, dangerous, and very unpredictable. You have to really want to visit, but it is worth the effort, at least for now. Well, I think the, the main thing is that climate change is absolutely happening. It's going to affect us in a number of ways. Uh, you look at this continent with this enormous mass of ice covering 99% uh, of the land mass, uh, and uh, a world in which a lot of that ice uh, melts will not be an easy place for uh, Americans and people in other parts of the world to live in. Open water absorbs more heat than does ice. Ice is very reflective. So the more that water warms up, the faster climate change, the more ice melts, the more the ocean warms. And that uh, will lead to fairly dramatic changes in, in sea level in the not too distant future, but also in, in aspects of climate that we're not able to predict fully right now, but could have major consequences. And I think the goodwill and the education, the, the future of Antarctica really is in the hands of these people who come down here and that are fundamentally changed in many ways through this experience. Changed by a continent of contrasts, of extremes, Antarctica, the white continent, is vast and unforgiving. The perfect place to help us all understand our role in the world. And yet, on the other side of it is, there is the mystery, and I really honor the mystery. You know, a week before the Berlin Wall came down, there's nobody would have said that would have happened. Apartheid in South Africa couldn't happen. That's where I put my money, is that things happen. The human spirit joins with the, the earth, and things happen that we cannot predict. Usually that you hear that in the negative sense, but it also equally happens in the positive sense. And I really trust that. <laughs>